Hello and happy welcome to my blog spotpunk.eu Our today's session is about exactly this one. This is a plan for our today's training. We are going to, to determine the FTP, the so-called functional threshold power. This is a um, power threshold uh, which determines uh, your maximum power output over one hour of cycling. And today I want to show you how we can arrive to this uh, threshold. This is uh, relatively simple. Um, all you need for that is a bike with a power meter. I am using, in my case, the Garmin Vector S power pedals, but you can, uh, of course, use also cranks like the SRM or all the other cranks used. Um, yeah, you also need a display that I'm going to show you now that uh, shows you your current uh, power output and which also records your power data and all the other data like speed and so on and time. Um, what else do you need is, of course, is a track where you can um, speed up over more than 20 minutes because our session will take 20 minutes. So make sure that you have a track um, without any traffic lights or junctions or so on that uh, would be obstacles on your way to power full power 20 minutes on your bike so these are the things uh, one more thing is optional it's not a must-have but when I determined my FTP I also used a heart rate monitor um, you can use it to uh, to see what your heart rate goes on while you are pushing uh, full power during these 20 minutes so let me explain you just shortly what the FTP is. Again, it's the maximum power output that you can maintain over one hour and it also helps you to uh, derive from the FTP to uh, different training zones. How this works I will show you in another video. Here I will show you how to do the training session to determine the FTP and then also I show you later on in a program, in a training analysis program, how to derive, how to calculate it. It's very simple. Uh, however, the training session is quite hard. Uh, this is how it goes. Yes, here you see that we just simply warm up. Uh, I did it uh, 30 minutes long. You can do it even a bit less. Just make sure that you warm up enough time and uh, we also use then uh, three times one minute of fast pedaling to warm up um, and after that uh, again five minutes just normal riding um, here it is set endurance miles uh, which is like your normal training speed where you can easily talk and then we already get into the next five minutes of full power. This is VO2 max, where you give all out during five minutes. This is just to get used to, uh, to a high intensity program, which is on the plan today. After these five minutes of all out, we do another 10 minutes of easy pedaling um, just to cool down from this five minutes all out and to prepare for the um, 20 minutes where we want to measure our power output and uh, where we want to give all during these 20 minutes. This is uh, the, the most important session from today um, and therefore I told you that if you have, use a heart rate monitor and try to to balance your heart rate during these 20 minutes around 
Um, I mean, 100% of heart rate that you can maintain over 20 minutes. If you don't have a heart rate monitor, don't bother. Try to balance your power output um, fairly around these 20 minutes. This, um, this means that um, take care to don't push too hard during the first two to three minutes um, because you want to have enough energy in the last three minutes so make sure not to push too hard in the first three minutes um, and to save this energy to give it all in the end because when I did it um, I was pushing really hard in the end I was uh, the last meters I was really doing a sprint because I wanted to give all out during the 20 minutes but uh, really take care to balance your energy output during these 20 minutes and once we have this we just uh, record our data we go home we cool down during the last 30 minutes in my case or even less or whatever go home and transfer your data from your data display onto your PC or Mac and then we dig into the data analysis and we come up with the FTP yeah and with that we are already close to the last steps. Uh, we are now in a training analysis program. I'm using Golden Cheetah in my case. And in another video that I'm showing you, the link right here, I showed you how to transfer data from Garmin Connect into such a training analysis program. Now, however, we want to determine the FTP. And on this yellow uh, graph, you see my training session uh, that I used to determine my FTP. For example, here in this area, you see the five minutes all out. Um, and this is the relaxing period of 10 minutes. And then this is the area of 20 minutes all out. We are using these 20 minutes uh, to derive the FTP and I just shortly want to mention why we are doing it only 20 minutes because the FTP is uh, used to be your maximum power output over one hour but it would be unrealistic and uh, too boring and also too hard to to make a one hour time trial in a training just to arrive to the FTP um, instead, scientific studies have shown that 20 minutes is okay if you do it like this. If you do the warm-up, if you do the 5 minutes all out, and then you do um, 20 minutes maximum power output. And uh, now I show you how this works. You just take this area of the 20 minutes all out, you mark it in the case like this and then you go to summary and you see your last selection which is here that I had a average power output of 279 watts so this is giving me the average power output during these 20 minutes this is not yet the FTP um, because I told you just before we uh, did it only 20 minutes long so scientific studies have shown that if we multiply this the 279 by 95% then you get to your FTP in my case this was 265 this means my FTP is 265 this means I can maintain 265 watts during one hour. So with this you got your FTP and in the next video I'll show you what we can use the FTP for. Okay, thanks for watching, goodbye and see you the next time.